Hello folks, Clyde Lindsay from Pixel Pro Displays. Thanks again for joining us for our video series on layout building and model creation. I think we're on part eight by now. And uh, so yeah, today we're gonna jump in and we're going to kind of revisit a, a, an issue that I know I've done a video on in the past, uh, but I want it to fall in line with uh, this series. So I am going to redo it and hopefully bring along some information that you maybe not have seen in the past. So with that being said, this video is brought to you today by the P Pixel Pro Display Sequence Club. When you join the club, you get an awesome sequence, but not only that, you get access to the growing number of vendors. Our most recent vendor, which is Pixel 2 Things, Mr. David Peace himself and his awesome boards that he has put together for the community to control uh, AC props that uh, use pixel control on a pixel data line. So check those out on his website. We also have a number, number of other vendors, extreme lighting displays, wired watts, Crockett Fancy Lights, uh, JD Shins, Wizards of Wire, uh, CCL controllers, Matos Designs is another new one, and Twisted Decals among a number of others as well. We thank you for becoming affiliates with PPD and we're happy to talk about the awesome things you do for those in the community. So folks, let's get right into uh, today's build which is going to be on the concentric stars and the concentric wreath model that is found inside x -Lite. So um, first of all, if you're building a wreath, you may use this model right here. So I'll start with this one. And if you're building just a circle of lights, which is in X lights, this is called a wreath, um, then it's a very simple process. It's uh, it's one string. Uh, I don't know, I really don't know if you could do two, or what, what if you do two strings and you had two strings of uh, 50, I don't know. Um, there you go, you got two strings. Let's uh, two strings of 50. Let's right click and have a look at the model and look at the node layout. Um, so we should have 100 pixels here. It says total nodes 100 pixels. And it looks like um, it looks like there are two strings. So it has it starting here at the top node or start at the bottom, node one string two. So I guess bottom here, and it goes counter, uh, goes clockwise, node one string one. So you've, you've got one string there and one string there. I guess if you were trying to create a circle, uh, a wreath with uh, 100 pixels and you did it on two outputs, you could do that. Uh, and that would be helpful if you are uh, putting this on a port by port basis, which would be port number one here on your controller connection, and the other string would be port number two, we'll say. Uh, okay, so with that being said, this is how you might create a single wreath. But now, if you're into the hobby and you're enjoying doing a lot of additions, like maybe, I mean, for example, let, you're going to put a star on your mega tree. I run a star on the peak of my house. Uh, or you're going to have a giant wreath. Like I have a giant wreath. Uh, uh, and, and most notably, my giant wreath is from Boscoyo Studios. So uh, here is my wreath. This is the one that I ordered from James, and I am absolutely in love with it. It is literally 42 inches, and it is massive, and it has 99 pixels in it. So that's kind of awesome. Uh, and it has three rows, three rows we see here, three rings of 33 nodes. And as we go to the sale page here, it tells you how the model is built. Uh, for him, for you to, to set it up in X lights, that's the only information that you really need to know: the number of nodes on the string, and uh, how many rings, and how many nodes per ring. So let's go ahead, and since you can't use the wreath model to do concentric or multiple rings, we'll go ahead and just leave this. We'll put this off to the side. We're going to go to the circles, create new circles model. Click it one time, and I'm going to put it right here. Boom. And now it's identical. See how it says one string at 50? Uh, we can have one string at 50, but we already know that we have 99 pixels going into this wreath. So let's change that number to 99. And now we have the layer sizes. So there's three rows. And here's how you're going to tell it how many rows it has. We're going to say there's 33 in the first row, comma, 33 in the second, comma, and 33 in the third. Whenever I click off of that, now you can see that you have three uh, uh, concentric rings of your circle and you've created your layered uh, wreath in a manner that would be consistent with how the model is built. Now uh, you can see clearly here that the the wreath thickness from the inside to the outside really isn't this big here. 
So in order to make this a little bit more uh, familiar to what that prop is in real life, we're going to come to the center size. Now, if we bump this up, make this a bigger number, it gives us a bigger opening in the center. As you can see there, bam, about what, 75% uh, center? So 75% of the center is open. Now, if we go the other way, obviously you can see it gets a little bit thicker and if you had more rings that would kind of make more sense for you if you understand what I'm saying. So I'll go ahead and throw this back on 75 and that should do us just nicely. So let's go ahead I'll place that a little better and we'll click Save. Now uh, if you have a different wreath and you have to make it a different way there is another way to do this. So from left to right the biggest number on the left let's say let's say it wasn't 33 let's say it was uh, let's say it was 36 and let's say this middle one was 34 and this m m this end one is 30 36 34 or we'll say 32 that, that makes it easy 32 now because I'm I'm recording I need to do quick math here to know how exactly how many pixels are in here 36 and 34 plus 32 that's 102 pixels we have to change our nodes per string 32 nope oh, what did I say 32 for <laughs> Oh my goodness, um, there's 102. See, I even make mistakes whenever I'm recording live. Uh, 100 and, oh, 102 nodes. So there we go. So now we have a wreath that looks similar to, to what it should be, but if we right click and we look at our uh, wiring view, you'll see that the first ring, the first ring that's on the left, here we go, you see how we started with 36, that's the larger ring on the outside. If we start with the 32, the 32 would start your string in the middle. So we're actually starting here, and it says we're going, look at this here, it says starting location, bottom, outer, clockwise. Uh, if And you notice this is, this is the reverse view, so we're looking at it from the pixel pushing end. Uh, this is the reverse view, and it's going counterclockwise. So this is actually accurate. This is just the reverse view because it's the wiring diagram. It's actually not the node layout. You can go to node layout. And the node layout really doesn't help us too much in the circular model. But you notice, notice these little white blank spaces. The, the reason we have these little blank spaces is because our rings are not identical pixel count rings. So Xlights is making, a filling in a hole so that the, the, the matrix, the way that this is, the buffer is set up for this model, this is how it's laid out in Xlights. So if you put a bars effect going left across a concentric wreath model such as this, it'll start at the top and it'll zip around this way. Um, so if you didn't know that, that's an interesting little uh, fact. Um, but that's why I always look at the wiring diagram for uh, the, the wreath. If we go to the wiring view, you can clearly see the outer ring, which is the 36 count. The 36 count, that's where it starts. Now, if we reverse these numbers and we say uh, 32, comma, 34, comma, 36. Now, all we've done, it's the same wreath. The only thing that we've done is watch the wiring view here. Remember we started um, remember we started on the inside uh, or on the outside. We're still on the outside but we're changing it so it's getting more dense as it goes in. So it, 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 that is an interesting distinction. So if your wreath is smaller on the inside, your smaller number needs to be at the end of the line and your larger number should be at the beginning. Now the reason why I bring this up, this is important, is because this is converse to what we're going to learn when we grab the star model and do that one next. So you can see the outer ring is at 1 to 32 and then 33 to 66 is actually 34 pixels. That's identical to what it was before because it's in the same location. And then 67, 102 minus 60, 66 is is 36. So that's how we know that this is the exact size and there's actually more pixels on the inside now. Uh, but the star model, as I said, is different. So let's go ahead and go to that. Um, again, I'm just going to make this as 33, comma, 33, comma, 33, and I'm going to change this back to 99 nodes. So now it's accurate with what the Boscoyo Studios model is. And we will pop over here and get some uh, interesting um, interesting looks. Oh, oh, look at this. Boscoyo is having its summer sale. So July 22nd through July 31st. Use discount code JULY19, and you will receive... 
a discount on, off of your order. This this ends July 31st, so I'm probably going to post this video really soon. That way, uh, that way we get a little plug in for James there. So anyway, back to the Chroma Star 36 inch. Um, this is relatively easy to add into X-Lights as well. So down here we can see in the description, we, we can see we have 270 nodes. And look at this, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and 70 nodes. Hey, check this out. I'm going to hit Control-C. I'm just going to copy this because we're going to go in and we're going to create the star model next. And that is right here. We're going to click one time. Now, if you have a mega tree, you probably want to put this giant star, this 36-inch star on your mega tree. And it's an awesome star. And it, as we said earlier, it's 270 nodes. And now it only has one ring. And now we're going to go to layer sizes. Control V. So we know that we're going to, now remember what I said, whenever you have the small one, it's actually going to start in the middle. In this instance, when we put the small one first, it put it on the outside. So make sure you understand that the difference. If we go 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, we need a comma in here. And now that that comma is in there, bam, there's your star. It's built. So if you go and purchase one of these stars or wreaths from Boscoyo Studios, if you get one of these or these, uh, these are so easy to build in yourself. They're currently not in the download folder because they're just, they, they take seconds to make on your own. So uh, if you are trying to download those using the download, create new download, then, which is another video we're going to create, uh, we're going to get into pretty soon. Um, you will find that this is very simple to get into. So if we go into the wiring diagram, now keep in mind the 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and also the starting location is at the bottom center clockwise. We'll go ahead and look at the, the uh, wiring view because the uh, quite honestly the, the node layout isn't very particularly helpful. Uh, it does work, but it doesn't look as pretty as this does. You can see and you can see that right here in the crotch it's starting inside and it's going in a reverse direction counterclockwise but once again reversed view if you flip this pancake flip this over take this and flip this over and you're looking at it now from the front the uh, pixels are actually going from the center here in a clockwise direction so that's how you know bottom sensor clockwise is how things work uh, now obviously if I close this uh, close that other screen out uh, we can drop down here and we can set it either bottom center clockwise, bottom center counterclockwise. Uh, if all you Aussies are listening, I'm going to say anti-clockwise. Um, and then the same goes for the top. If you start on the top on the outside or you start on the top on the inside, you can either go clockwise or counterclockwise. If you're pushing your pixels in first and then you build your model second, that might be a good idea with the star. Uh, but build them all the same. That way you build your models in X lights all the same. That's a highly recommended step for you all to take. Uh, but once you make the first one, make everything else like that so all your models follow suit. If you decide that you want to start on the outside of your, your star, you just need to reverse the order of these. So we'll do that. We can do 70, comma 60, comma 50, comma 40, comma 30, comma 20. Okay, now we've just, it doesn't change the model any, it's the same pixels, but if we look at the wiring view, instead of in the very middle being the first pixel, the very middle in the crotch is the end pixel, and the very middle in the, the first pixel is now on the outside, and as the reverse view shows, it's going counterclockwise, which is what we're telling it to do, because the standard way that you view it would be here in the clockwise direction. So, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I really appreciate you joining me and coming along with us as we walk through the concentric star and wreath models once again. Uh, like this video if you like it. Share it with everybody if you love it. Remember to hit the subscribe and the bell buttons for notification on the bot right, bottom right of your uh, of your screen right now. We have a, a, a nice little, little tag that you can click to subscribe. Uh, qu questions and comments in the comments section down below. And as always... We have an awesome Facebook community group called Pixel Pro University, which you should totally look up on Facebook and click that join button. Lastly, I want to also thank everybody for watching the video. If you like what we do here at Pixel Pro Displays for the YouTube community and the hobbyist community, by all means, please consider supporting us by signing up for one month of the PPD Sequence Club where you'll get one awesome sequence with that monthly membership and we really appreciate your support. So thank you guys for watching. Please check out all of our affiliates on our affiliate page and we will see you in the next video. Down through the chimney with those and me. Sam, and every time it rains it rains. And don't